What's up, fam? I hope you're having a great day. Today, I'm about to show you why you keep losing money in the Forex market with one word. That one word is liquidity. Search it up, focus on it, keep that in your head this entire video liquidity. Where is the money? Anytime you look at a chart, or anytime you pull up anything, where is the money? That's the first thing you should be looking at. Um, the setup that you're seeing right here was a setup that we sent in our public group chat. A lot of people caught this. Um, it went over to like 90 pips. It hit TP. This was the first TP that we had for it. It was a 17 pip stop loss. It, it missed stop loss, but like one pip. This was the actual one to five. And this kept going up. I have other setups there that I want to show you later in the video to explain everything that's going on in in the chart right now this is how the markets actually move and this is how you're going to be profitable in the market there's no other way this is i wouldn't i wouldn't want to say this is the best strategy because there's no best strategy because you lose two you're always going to lose that's something you have to accept in the forex market you're always going to lose but this is one of the best we also have a telegram group chat go join that it's free. This was sent in there. We send signals in there all the time. Go in there. Check that out. We also have a VIP group chat. That's paid. You don't have to pay for that, but if, you, if you're interested in that, you can check that out. We also provide mentorship in that chat, so I'll have all the links in the description where you can, who you can contact and where you could go to get information on that. But without further ado, let's get into why you keep losing money. Let me show you what's really going on. Okay, now that we're on a naked chart, let's explain this liquidity. This right here, this wick, people refer to this as a rejection wick. But above this wick, there's people that's selling this right here. There's people that in this side, inside this candle that were selling because of this wick. So up here, there's liquidity. There's money up here. Um, there is money up here. There was money right there before we came and took it out right here. There is money right there that we didn't take out. And there's also money inside of here that we did take out. We took these lows right here. We took out this and we took out this low too okay so right here this is where we was focused on this this right here the market was going up down up down consolidating as people say and when people retail traders see this right here they think okay the market is rejecting rejecting is about to buy yes they're correct it is going to buy but before they can buy they have to take the money the money is their stop losses so as they're buying they're putting their stop loss either under this wick or under this wick some people got lucky if they put their stop loss under that wick but most people they're probably putting their stop loss under these wicks right here maybe under this wick that came down right here this is another rejection wick they came and took this down with another wick as well but they're putting their money here so what the banks do they They'll give them some profit, drive the market up a little bit, a little bit of pips, 30 pips probably, and then push the market down, taking their stop loss, getting money inside the market before they could go for the real push, the rally to the upside. Instant rally to the upside around after they took this liquidity, they instantly pushed the market up and we closed above all of these candles breaking market structure. So now this liquidity is gone right here. But in order for the banks to continue pushing the market, they have to mitigate out of their positions. They have to come out of their sell positions because they had to sell the market down to take the liquidity. So they had to come back and mitigate their position and close out their sales over here. So this was the candle that took all the liquidity this was the last candle before the up move but we didn't get that retracement but for the more advanced people that know smart money concepts and how the banks trade 
we have an order block right here inside of a breaker block. And a breaker block, this is a breaker block right here. And basically what a, um, a breaker block is, is a failed order block. So this was a sale. This was the last buy to sell. And we broke through it and created an order block inside of it. So we would expect the markets to come back down to this block right here and continue to push up. So we have a long position here. Our stop loss would be under the body of the candle, but this is a long body. So we would go down to smaller time frames and really look for it. And after that, we pushed exactly up hitting TP1 right here, which would have been this recent high that we created. Taking out this liquidity right here. This is why you're losing in the market because the banks are taking your stop losses and pushing the market up against you. So even if you were, they pushed the market so far down that they push the market down like 33 pips. No one is going to stand in 33 pip drawdown. That's crazy. And as soon as you close out your positions, they know that you're, they're taking your money. They'll reverse the market to the upside. Exactly where you thought it was going. That's where it's going. But before they can go, they have to take money. So us as the smart money traders, we wait for this to happen. We wait for the others to get tricked. So we can profit off of this because we know the markets have to come back. We know the banks have to come back down to mitigate their positions, to get out of their sale right here. The sale that they did right here to take your liquidity, they have to get out of that because they're in negative. So they come back down, mitigate the positions to push the market back up. And your target, your target would be a recent high right here. These highs right here, these wicks right here above there, that'd be your target. And as you can see, it went straight up. After we came and mitigated it, we didn't even, there was no pullback. We went straight up to TP. And this was sent in the public group chat as well. I forgot to tell you guys. This, when the market comes down and grabs liquidity, it's known as a liquidity grab. And to know if a liquidity grab is like official and you're not, and it's not just a pullback or whatever, it has to break market structure. You see how we closed above these bodies over here? We closed damn near up here to this wick. And, when, and it was an impulsive move. You see the move to the upside versus the move to the downside. This looks like a correction. And then look at the move to the upside again. Look at the moves to the upside. So we know the market's pushing to the upside. This is an impulsive move. This is what we call impulsive moves. Only the banks can make moves like this. But anyways, here's another setup right here. And I'm going to show you guys. We have liquidity up here. We have this wick. Market did this. We have another wick right here. It's inducing, it's inducing sellers into the market right here. We're inducing people to sell right here. We're inducing people to sell, making liquidity. They're making liquidity so later they can come grab it. So after they induced sellers, we came down, we took out this liquidity on the bottom right here. And we had and we had an immediate push towards the upside. We closed and took out this liquidity as well. Like I was telling you, now we can verify this as a liquidity grab because as soon as we took these lows we had an impulsive move to the upside and we broke structure again taking out the liquidity up here that they formed so all we have to do is we wait for the markets to pull back to the candle that drove the market down before up so the last sell candle before the up move and in here we're gonna have to scale down to the smaller time frames we have to scale down very small in here to really find that candle. To really find that candle. It was really this candle right here. But let's really go down to the smaller time frame. The last sell candle. We 
can go five minute really. Okay, we're going to take this five minute candle right here. And why not this five minute candle? Well, because we have imbalance right here in between this area right here. So as soon as the market comes back down into this area, we should feel the imbalance and it extremely just explode to the upside. So now all we do is we wait for the market to come back into our entry area and our entry area is going to be this horizontal array. So around the 135, 360, 360, 365, 370 area. And you can move your stop loss to under this wick or if you want to be aggressive, you can move it to under the bodies. But let's be conservative and let's move it under the wick right here. And all we do is we wait for the market to retrace back into this line. I personally would set a limit right here to where just in case if you don't miss it, because you might not get the chance to enter because the market could just impulsively move. So now we're going to go back to the one hour time frame and we're going to look to see what happened and you can see that all the way over here patience all the way over here we finally hit our entry nine pip stop loss that we had we finally hit our entry right here and we exploded exploded towards the upside exploded towards the upside for a 1 to 15 this high right here this previous high right here would have been your target right here that would have been your target and we exploded towards up there for a 1 to 15 you so you guys see what type of setups you can catch with these concepts the main thing to focus on here is liquidity if you didn't get anything out of this video focus on liquidity do not get your stop loss hit stop giving these banks your money focus and try to read what's going on in the market like i said focus on the money where is the money see if you see liquidity grabs break of market structure and wait and test this out so that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, like the video. Do not forget to subscribe. I'll be uploading more videos like these, explaining more in the market and stuff like that because there's more in depth to this. So I really went over abroad, but there's more in depth to this. So I'll be explaining more in other videos.